Problem number 18, wastewater collection math book, SoarGate.com. Wet well is 12 feet by 6 feet by 15 feet deep, and the influent rate is 600 GPM. With two pumps running, the level decreases 3 feet 9 inches in 18 minutes. If pump A has a rate of 425 gallons per minute, what is the rate of pump B in GPM? <laughs> Well, we'll start by drawing this guy and then we'll simplify a couple of things. So it's square. We've got pump pump A and pump B, so we've got two pumps coming out. Pump A has a rate of 425 GPM. Pump B, we don't know. And the influent is 600 GPM. Both pumps running the level decreases 3.9 feet, or 3 feet 9 inches. Let's simplify that. 9 divided by 12 should be 0 0.7, 0.8. 9 divided by 12, 0 0.75. So it's going to be 3.75 feet in 18 minutes. So there's our depth. So we're 12 feet by 6 feet by 3.75 feet. So let's get the volume of that. 12 feet by 6 feet by 3.75 feet. It's going to give me cubic feet. And I might as well keep going and turn it into gallons per minute. 7.48 gallons per foot cubed. And we'll see what that volume in gallons is. 12 by 6 by 3.75 times 7.48 gives me 2019 19.6, I'll just make it 20, 20 gallons. Alright. 2,020 gallons. And it decreased in 18 minutes. So it's 2020 divided by 18. That's going to give me 112.2 gallons GPM. So that decrease is equal to 112.2 gallons per minute. So what we're looking at with two pumps running the level fell 3.75 down. So that means both of these pumps together are more than 600 GPM. So how much more would be this much more? 117.2. So the total pumping rate is going to be 600 gallons per minute plus 112 Point two gallons per minute. It's going to be seven twelve point two gallons per minute. I'll just make it GPM to simplify it. GPM to simplify it. So that's total pumping. So what this guy is going to be is seven twelve point two.
GPM minus this pump 425 GPM that's going to give me 287.2 GPM which is going to be B.